Welcome back everyone, it's me Rhiannon. If you're new here, I'm a witch and pagan and I like to create witchy content for you guys all about the occult, paganism, spirituality, and so much more. Today I decided I wanted to do a little bit of some dark academia crafts for my witchy altar space. I have been so blessed to been allowed to use the office in my home to create a altar room so I wanted to perk it up a little bit it has terrible color on the walls I've reorganized kind of the layout of the room and I wanted to make some decorations to make it feel a little bit more academic a little bit more cottage core and a little bit more my style so starting off I'm going to be tea staining some pages for spell petitions. You can use this in your grimoire pages if you'd like, um, but I'll be using mine for petition pages. Basically all you need is some sheets of scrap paper, a place to pour water into to soak your pages, and some dark tea uh, that you don't really care to eat waste. This is going to be a chai, so it has a black tea in it. And this is going to give it a bit more of a lighter finish um, than if you were to use like a coffee stain. Later on, I'm going to be taking out the pages and letting them dry. And you're going to need a little bit of space for this, so prepare for that. I just laid out some wax paper so that the tea doesn't get everywhere. And I'll be doing some spot treatment with a little spray bottle that you see here to kind of get more of an effect that I'd like. While those pages dry, I'm also going to be creating this really quick simple craft. Uh, you just need some empty bottles. I have an old kombucha bottle and an old wine bottle and really all you need is a lighter or matches and a candlestick. You don't mind uh, burning down and you just want to allow the drips to catch onto the bottle. Um, this is going to allow the wax to pool a lot easier and grab onto itself and give you this really cool aged like writing by candle light effect on these bottles and it'll just have it happen a little quicker so i'm just creating a bit of that waxy base and then i'm going to allow this candle to burn down on top of it and then i'll have a really good base for some more witchy decor throughout my room this is probably the easiest thing that you can do. You can even decorate the inside of the bottle with sand or you can put beautiful dried flowers on the inside. I think I'm going to do that next time that I do this. Um, just as a way to preserve the flowers that I've gathered throughout the summer and kind of give myself a bit more of a spring feel in the room. You can do this for seasonal as well and make it a bit of an altar decor for this, the Sabbaths. So you can do like a Yule theme or an Ostara theme. I think that would be really cute. And there's the rain. It has been nonstop, but the plants are loving it, as you can tell. This is my favorite time of year when it's just so warm and it's fresh in the morning and you wake up and you smell the fresh rain on the ground and in the air. So I had my windows open all day. The next craft I want to make is a little bit more cottage core than it is dark academia, um, but I feel like it fits the aesthetic because I'm a bit of both of those aesthetics. I'm a bit cottage core and I'm a bit dark academia, so. I'm making myself a pentagram styled drying rack for my herbal bundles. 
So basically all you want is to gather some twigs um, that have naturally fallen. I got these from a dollar store from the craft section, a hot glue gun, and some twine. And I'm just forming the shape of a pentagram. And then once the glue is dried, I'm going to be wrapping the twine around to hide all of the dried glue and to give it a little bit more security. I ended up creating an entire hanging system for this project, but I ended up losing the footage so i can't show you how i did it but it was completely simple um, all you really needed to do is cut four or five however many you'd like lengths of the yarn and attach it to the end of each point of the star and just gather them together at the top and then wrap another length of twine around it kind of making it sounds bad what it looks like to be a noose but it's not um just to create a bit of a knot and then um a little loop on the top and then it'll hang off of any type of like hanging device that you want to screw into your roof and i did it completely just with hot glue and the cord that i had so it's pretty easy i would just play around with it and see what you can do I am so excited to start using this and hanging it in my space. I make a lot of bundles, so this is definitely going to be used really well, especially now that I'm just starting my little garden in the backyard. Um, we just got it like functionable to be able to plant in now, and by next year, I'll have a really plentiful herb garden that I could use for my witchy spa workings and um, build up my own small apothecary. And the last little project I wanted to do is connecting with my friends and my family and kind of the nostalgia that is brought with writing handwritten letters. So I decided to create a little care package for my friend. I'm going to be filling it with um, little goodies for him that I picked up from this cute little craft store. I've got some stickers. I made a cute little friendship charm necklace out of a spell bottle. It's a little spell for him to help create connection and feel supported. And I wanted to do this cute wax seal, but I don't have a wax seal kit. So I got creative and I used a tea light and I just dyed the tea light after it burnt a little bit and melted with some of my candle dyes and just poured it over the seal. So it worked pretty well. It's a little messy, but I think it turned out pretty cute. And I chose to add a little rose just to spiff it up a little bit with writing my letter i'm going to be using this victorian trading ink set that i got from the witch's moon box a few years ago this is such a stunning set i it came with a glass quill and several colors of ink uh, so i'm thinking i'll be using more of the red for this working and um it's gonna be a fun time. So here I'm just kind of adding the uh, wax dye to my tea light candle. Um, it was a little messy, I wish I didn't do it on top of my herbal journal, but it's okay, it'll wipe off.
I am absolutely obsessed with these inks and I think one of the next witchy projects that I'm going to be getting myself um, into classes for is creating magical inks and I think it's such a cool process and um, yeah, so I'm on the lookout for some classes. Um, I know Baynex Bramble creates their own special magical inks and has of course I believe too so I probably will be enrolling myself into that this winter um, and getting creative. If you haven't in the recent past written a letter to a loved one or a friend, I highly suggest you pick up a pen and a paper and just pour out a little journal to them. I know that they would love it, it would melt their heart and make their day. I know for me it really makes me feel more thought of and connected to my friends and my family. And it's just that little extra effort that you put into is writing a, a note and creating special thoughts just for them and taking the time to place it on paper and make it special um, makes it so much more valuable than just sending a text in my in opinion. So I highly suggest trying it out. It really centered me and I can't wait to write all the more letters in the next year. I'm hoping to work on my penmanship as well and um, get a better handwriting style so that I can feel more comfortable writing in my grimoires and this is a great practice for that. So here I'm just building my little care package to my friend, filling it with the stickers and some rose petals. I pulled an intuitive oracle card for him and I'm just adding my little friendship spell jar that I crafted for him and hopefully this will help bring us a little closer even though that we've both been struggling lately. Uh, hopefully it'll help to um, tie us a little closer so we don't feel so far apart. scrapping the little envelope I made. It was too full um, and I'll try that craft later on for the decor in my room. If you guys have not yet subscribed, definitely subscribe to the link below and turn on the bell notification to all so you don't miss out whenever I post. I post every week all about the witchy, the occult, my witchy journey, magical witchy vlogs like this and the witchcrafts uh, that I create. And make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok. The links are down in the description box below. Stay wicked and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.